Hello, good morning. This is your daily outlook for Tuesday, the 15th of November. The euro plummeted yesterday on doubts the new technocratic governments in Italy and Greece will be able to implement the necessary reforms to resolve the debt problems in their highly indebted countries. Risk aversion in the market is heightened after Italian and Spanish government bonds came under selling pressure. An Italian government five-year bond auction ended with €3 billion Euros of bonds sold at a record high yield of 6.29%, fueling worries about the country's ability to avoid a default. Spanish 10-year government bond yields also climbed above 6% for the first time since August. Focus now turns to an auction of Spanish short-term bonds today. Eurozone's third quarter gross domestic product is also expected today, and weaker than expected data would raise fears that the region may be sliding back into recession. Versus the dollar, the euro dipped below 136, falling as low as 135.75 from 137.88. The US dollar edged higher against the basket of currencies yesterday as high risk aversion spurred a higher demand for the safe haven currency. Attention shifts to a series of economic data in the US, including retail sales, manufacturing index, and producer price index. The Australian dollar fell against the dollar after the release of the Reserve Bank of Australia policy meeting minutes. The minutes showed the central bank's growing fears about a global economic slowdown, but there was no sign that further rate cuts will follow. The pair dropped as low as 101.59 from 103.36, a decline of 1.7%. Looking at commodities, we saw oil prices edge lower, hitting $97.18 a barrel from $99.27. Gold also slid yesterday to $1,735.82 an ounce from $1,802.58 and silver fell to $33.13 an ounce and $35.31. Now let's take a look at what the currencies are doing this morning. The euro dollar per point is at 137.20, with a preference to enter into short positions at 137.20. The dollar yen pivot point is at 77.45, with a preference to enter into short positions at 77.45. The Aussie dollar pivot point is at 102.30, with a preference to enter into short positions at 102.30. The sterling dollar pivot point is at 159.75, with a preference to enter into short positions at 159.75, and the dollar CAD pivot point is at 101.40, with a preference to enter into long positions at 101.40. And looking at commodities, the oil pivot point is at 98.40, with a preference to enter into short positions at 98.40. The gold pivot point is at 177.4, with a preference to enter into short positions at 177.4, and the silver pivot point is at 34.30, with a preference to enter into short positions at 34.30. And of course, for up-to-date information, please visit our website. And on the calendar, the market movers are the UK Consumer Price Index in October forecast to gain 0.2%, EU Gross Domestic Product in quarter three forecast to gain 0.2%, US Retail Sales in October forecast to gain 0.3%, US Producer Price Index in October forecast to gain 6.3%, and US Manufacturing Index in October forecast to rise to minus 2.1%. Now on to equities, which were all negative. In Europe, the FTSE was down 0.47%, the DAX was down 1.19%, and the CAC was down 1.28%. In the US, the SP500 was down 0.96%, and the Dow was down 0.61%. At the time of writing, the Nikkei was down 072 and the Hang Seng was down 1.02%. This has been your Daily Outlook. I'm Emma and Joe from Easy Frog Seeing Room. Have a good day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.